Yep, uh, my name is Jason Rumble. I am running for the trustee position. I'm running as the only Republican, and I am the only one that has experience right now. So, uh, and I live in the township for 37 years. I live here with my wife, uh, Colleen, and my daughters, Mia and Chloe, who are both enrolled in Brandon schools. Uh, and I am very involved in this community through uh, many aspects. I work for the Brandon High School coaching boys and girls golf. Uh, I am the president and member of the Ortonville Lions Club. I am an Ortonville Mason. I'm also involved on Brandon Groveland Youth Assistance and many other things that I volunteer for with like the DDA and other uh, aspects of our community, always helping out and volunteering both my time and my money when I can. To say the least, you're involved? Yes. And obviously you were a board member before? Yeah, I served in 2012 to 2016 as trustee, so I have four years as a trustee already under my belt. So I guess the question would be, you're coming back to run, I'm just curious as to why. Uh, I just believe in my community and I, my community has given me so much throughout my time here and I just like to give back in any way that I can and that's another reason that I want to be involved. Uh, I mean I am involved but I don't think there's anybody else that's more involved in that's running for a position right now than I am and I believe my ear is always to the ground in the community knowing what's going on and what the people in this community want and people call me, email me, and text me constantly about things and ask me questions that I'm always responding to. Being a lawyer it certainly has to help you as, uh, from a strength perspective. Yep. Maybe explain some of your strengths for, for being a public servant. Yeah, I mean, I forgot to mention that in opening, but yeah, I do own my own law firm here in Ortonville that I've been running. Uh, opened it in 2015. We've recently moved here this year to come back to our community. So, But uh, as far as strengths go into that is a lawyer always is taking down facts and taking and then you take those facts you form a, a solution to any problems that are presented in your fact pattern for any client no matter what it is it's no different than what you do for the community members they come to you with a problem you figure out their set of facts you figure out how you're going to address those facts and then you put that plan in action and I, I mean i've been doing that as an attorney since 2006 so Local politics, a lot of folks have said communication is something that needs to improve as well. And I know from your own background that when you were a board member, you were very vocal about making sure everybody was transparent about their process. And maybe you can speak to that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it, local politics, you have to be. Everybody has to know what you're doing, why you're doing it. You know, and traditionally, things aren't really party lines as the most part on local politics, you know. So that doesn't really come into play, but you, you have to be able to listen to every party in your community. You know, take example for the trails when we were talking about trails. There was the pro trails people, there was the people against the trails. You know, that we had to sit down, look at the actual facts, and once all those facts were laid out, you know, we realized it was something that this community couldn't afford. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about, those sort of things. Is there anything, as we look at specifics, there's a thousand issues on the landscape. Is there something specific that you might consider to be important to you? Yeah, I mean, the budget to me is always important. I look at, and that's probably the thing I get the most questions on from people about running. I've had several people ask me if I've looked at the budget, you know, and that's always available on the website, so you can always look at that. But yeah, I mean, it's just every aspect of that budget, every line item, you have to look at those and analyze those, whether it's police and fire or recreation or any other division or any other cost center in that budget that you need to look at. So those just need to be gone through. Right. So the solution to that isn't really a solution other than just being diligent. Yeah, you have to be diligent and smart with your money. You know, yes, trails were a great idea. Everybody liked the idea, but once we looked at the dollars and cents of it, we realized that it could not happen. You know, we don't have $8 million in our budget for any trail. Yeah. Would it be great? Yes. But you can't put that into play just because it's great. You think the township board's missing anything on on, on the landscape r related to issues? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there is. I, I don't have one at the front of my mind right now, but no, yeah, I mean, there is issues that will come up along that. They came up when I was trustee last time. You know, you look at recreation, a lot of people have issues with recreation. Is it getting better? Yes. It's not what it was when I was a child in this town. You know, when I was in here, we'd have eight, ten teams playing baseball. Now we're lucky to have four. Some of that is population, of course. Some of that's the way the programs are ran. You know, we do have a beautiful gem there that we need to get it in order and get it back to what it once was to make it great again. Okay. Is there anything we've missed to ask you? Uh, I don't think so. I think that's okay. pretty much it. Well, good luck and appreciate your time. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks.